WWE TLC takes place this Sunday in Minneapolis, Minnesota from the Target Center. And this show has a has a two TLC matches, one uh, t- in one tables match and a ladder match. There is no chair match. Um, I thought uh, Roman Reigns and Baron Corbin probably should have just been a chairs match so you can have all three with the TLC. But um, it's, a, it's an okay card. It's a throwaway show, though. It definitely feels like a secondary show. Um, it's between Survivor Series and Royal Rumble, so that's how it is. But um, going into the show, you can have a good show. I, I expect it to be pretty good, and I'll review it on Sunday night. So uh, Tag Team Championships are on the line. Viking Raiders face two unknown opponents. Viking Raiders win. No questions asked. You have Alistair Black and Buddy Murphy, and if they, this is the kind of show, and this is a horrible match to be on this type of show. If this was the kind of match on a uh, more of a wrestling-oriented show, like an in-ring show, this would be a great match, but I think on the show where you have tables, you have ladders and chairs, it's so hard to have a good match because the fans are used to guys being smashed through cha- tables and jumping off ladders and being smashed with a steel chair. Um, you know, it's one of those situations where you see so much action, it's hard to have a great wrestling match on a show like this. Hell in a Cell, TLC, shows like that. Um, elimination Chamber to an extent having great wrestling matches single matches is tough because you just set, you see so many big spots in the other matches so it's a bit ground it's like you know when you have a big ladder match it's hard to just follow it with a regular singles match it's tough and that happens a lot on big shows so um, this is going to be a great match if they get time and they can really go out there because I'm a huge fan of both these guys like I wish this was an NXT this, these guys were going on an NXT and having like a 20 minute match you can have one of the best matches of the year. Alistair Black's great. Buddy Murphy is great. He's a great wrestler. Uh, both these guys, you know, I assume Alistair's obviously going to win. And, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, both of them, I think, are very talented. Um, and they're both, hey, and they're both uh, really uh, with, uh, they both hit jackpots with who they're, date or who they're with. Alistair Black is married to Lena Vega. And uh, Buddy Murphy was actually with Alexa Bliss. They broke up. I think she's dating some guy in some band or something. I don't know, but... Uh, yeah, they really hit the jackpot. Uh, well, at least Buddy had it. Uh, Alistair still does. Um, Alistair's winning. No questions asked. Easy win for Alistair Black. There's no way Buddy Murphy's going to beat him here. Alistair should get a big push uh, soon. Next, you have... I don't know if this is for the title. It says singles match on Wikipedia, so I'm just going by that. You have Bray Wyatt against The Miz. Well, obviously Bray Wyatt's going to win. I assume this is not The Fiend. This is just Bray Wyatt, so it's a singles match. Um, I suppose, you know what? If they had The Miz win... People are going to freak out. They're going to get pissed off. But it is Bray Wyatt. So if they haven't beat Bray Wyatt, you can have The Miz challenge The Fiend at the Royal Rumble. You could do that for the title. They, that, it's not a horrible idea. I know the Miz who are trying to sing The Miz in a title match, but that wouldn't be a horrible idea. You can easily have Bray Wyatt, just regular old Bray Wyatt. It's a non-title match. It's not The Fiend. The champion doesn't lose. The Fiend doesn't lose. Miz beats Bray. I think that's going to happen. I'm picking The Miz to win. I think he's going to beat Bray Wyatt. And then I think after the match, The Fiend will come out and he'll delight to go up. I think The Miz pins Bray Wyatt cleanly in the middle of the ring. If this is, as I, it says on Wikipedia, it's Bray Wyatt against The Miz. It's not The Fiend. I think The Miz wins. I think it sets up The Miz to lose to The Fiend at Royal Rumble. I'm picking The Miz to beat Bray Wyatt, not The Fiend, not the WWE Universal Champion, just uh, Bray Miz wins. I know. I'm going to shock you. All right, here's uh, the stipulations. You have a tables match. You have Rusev against Bobby Lashley with Lana. Hmm. Hmm, it's tough. I'm thinking Lashley wins. The reason I'm picking Lashley is I think this feud's going to continue, unfortunately. I think it's going to go in probably until ne- the end of next year. They might go up to like a Christmas show and they'll have a big stipulation where Rusev wins, but... It's going to continue for at least a couple, few more weeks, maybe a couple more uh, months even. Unfortunately, I think this is going to go on. I think Lashley wins because this is the first match at the tables match. It's not going to kill Rusev. You can, I think Rusev will try to kill Lashley. Like he'll have uh, Lashley outside on the table and uh, he's about to do a big splash. But then all of a sudden Lana push, uh, grabs Lashley's hand and puts him out of, um, gets him out of the way. And Rusev crashes through the table and Lana costs Rusev the match. So picking Lashley uh, to win the tables match. Ladder match for the WWE SmackDown Championship, the New Day, Big E and Kofi Kingston against the Revival, Scott Dawson, Dash Wilder. 
that our match could still could steal the show. Um, I, I think the, I'm more interested in the women's uh, TLC, but the, both these ma- both of them are going to be great. You know, all four of these guys: Biggie, Kofi. Kofi's great in this match. I mean, he's going to do something insane on the ladder. Kofi's great. Uh, the Revival are grounded wrestlers. Uh, you know, they they say no flips, just fists. Th- them, they're more of guys who uh, are fans of old school wrestling. They don't like these kind of matches, but they'll do well here. There's no doubt they'll do great here, and Biggie will do some big spots. This is a fun matchup to uh, look forward to. Uh, so here's the thing. Are they going to split the New Day up? They could. They really could. I think they could do something. They could do Kofi and Big E at WrestleMania. That could happen. Um, they could, you know, have... Since Xavier is going to be out for longer, he still has a torn uh, Achilles. So I don't know how much longer. Xavier will probably till sometime next year. I believe they have to split the New Day up because I think there's nowhere else for them to go. I think they want to give Big E a big push, and the way you start this is by splitting him up from Kofi. Maybe it sets up Big E and Kofi at WrestleMania. I think that could happen. My prediction is a revival. I think they win this match. I think this will be a great matchup. You'll see some big spots. I think Kofi does a big spot, and he messes up. It's kind of like when the Hardys used to have those matches. A lot of times, uh, Jeff would do something crazy, and he'd kill himself, and he'd cost himself the match. That happens a lot, and I think this will probably happen here. Um, it, uh, Kofi's about to win, but he does something really crazy. He messes the match up. He gets hurt, uh, and a Big E eventually gets mad, and that Revival take the match. So I'm going to Revival to win the SmackDown Tag Team titles. Next, we go to the match I do not give a shit about. TLC, Roman Reigns, Baron Corbin. I hope Roman Reigns murders Baron Corbin. He'll kill him here. He'll hit him with chairs. He'll hit him with the ladder. He'll throw him through a ladder. He'll do a whole, like, ten tables, hopefully. Reigns kills Corbin. That's it. There's nothing else to say about it. They'll have Ziggler get involved. Ziggler will get speared to hell. Easy win. Reigns wins. And Reigns goes on to the War Rumble to uh, probably win it. And then face the Fiend at WrestleMania. Because I think that's where they're going. So, Reigns obviously has taken this. Main events. TLC match for the WWE Women's Championship match, Women's Tag Team Titles. The Kabuki Warriors, Austin Kyrie Sane, defend their titles against Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair. Wow, this is going to be great. So last year we saw a fantastic triple threat uh, TLC match for the SmackDown Women's Title, which was Becky against Charlotte against Asuka. Match was great. Loved it. It was a hell of a matchup. Very entertaining. Went back and forth. It was a damn good match. Uh... And eventually what happened was uh, Ronda Rousey came on. She uh, cost uh, Becky the match. She threw Becky and Charlotte off the ladder, and uh, Asuka got the, one, uh, got the win. So Asuka won. Here, um, hmm, it's a tough match to call. I mean, one thing, I'm sure we'll get good spots. We'll get chair spots. Uh, we'll get some big ladder spots. I expect Charlotte might do the moonsault off the ladder. They'll have some table spots, which are always great. Uh, maybe we can see the same spot like last when Charlotte uh, stuck her tits in Asuka's face. It's like... Damn, I really wanted to be Oscar right there. It's a funny gif. Like, Charlotte speared Oscar through the barricade, and uh, Oscar's down. But, like, Charlotte has to get up, and Charlotte's trying to get up, but she leans her body into Oscar's face, and her giant titties go right into Oscar's face. And it was like, Oscar's went, like, face first. Like, she, like, she almost suffocated her with it. I was like, wow, there you go. I'm going to show Oscar right there. Um, here, ah, oh, damn, it's a tough match. I can see Shayna Baszler coming in, unfortunately. I can see Baszler causing Becky the, the match. According to Dave Meltzer, he's wrong half the time, so maybe not true, but uh, could do something with Asuka or uh, Becky Lynch and Shayna Baszler or something that looks like the direction for the Raw Women's title, and Becky's going to hold the belt all the way to then. I don't see Becky losing that title until WrestleMania, so she doesn't have a year-long reign. I'd love to see Becky Ronda in a singles. I'd much rather see that. I'm not a huge fan of Baszler at all. She just, she's not a starter, but I can see Baszler getting involved since Baszler beat won the match she, she, but she didn't you know, beat Becky she beat uh, Bailey at Survivor Series I can see Baszler costing Becky the match because after the match at Survivor Series Becky beat her down so I can see Baszler coming out screwing Becky and Charlotte like uh, what Ronda did to them last year in the same spot so that's how I think it'll end I think Oscar and Kyrie win the Kabuki Warriors win with the assist of Shayna Baszler and I'm sure they'll have a great main event but um, so I'm going to go with the Kabuki Warriors to retain the WWE Women's Tag Team title so this Sunday in Minneapolis, Minnesota, hopefully get a great show from the Target Center, WWE TLC, tables, ladders, and chairs.